what happened to Austin home values in 2023 and what do we think is going to happen in 2024? Well, I got the latest stats from the Austin Board of Realtors here and I'm going to break it down for you in this market minute. So we got the end of year stats for the month of December and the median sales price in Travis County was 527,500. Now this is a big deal because it means that our home values actually went up from where they were at the beginning of the year when it was just around 500,000. So that's about a five and a half percent difference from January to December of 2023. Again, this is median sales prices in Travis County. Now, if you look at our overall year, it follows what I would call a pretty normal, healthy market. This is actually what I was used to seeing prior to all the chaos of 2020. This graph resembled what most real estate years in Austin looked like. So you always start off kind of at the bottom in January, the winter months, and then the prices start to go up in the spring. They kind of hit their peak in the summer. And then once you get to midsummer, the, the prices start to dip because you enter into school season. Families quit shopping when they have kids and getting them into school. You also hit the holidays at the end of the year. But generally, you end up with a little bit higher level than where you started. And historically, Austin home values go up between three to 5% a year. So for me, it was super exciting to finally see something that resembled a fairly normal market. Now, overall, we had less sales, so a lot of people were still sitting back on the sidelines, but the spike in activity that we saw at the end of the year had to do with the interest rates dropping. We hit an all-time high that we've seen in the longest time of about an 8% interest rate, and then it went back down into the sixes and suddenly there was a flurry of activity again at the end of the year. So what that shows us is that there's a lot of buyers that still wanna buy a home in Austin. They've just been kind of waiting on the sidelines to see what's going to happen with rates. So as we enter into 2024, the Fed has already said that they plan to lower rates at least three times this year. Now we're not predicting to see anything crazy drastic down into the two and 3% range. That was probably a once in a lifetime thing that we'll see, but a lot of experts are predicting that rates will go back down to low sixes, possibly into the fives by the end of this year. So anytime the rate comes down, more buyers will enter the market. Prices will go up slightly. We're not predicting anything crazy again, like we saw when the rates were really low. Now, something else we have to keep in mind is that Austin has had a lot of inventory lately. So for the last part of the year, we were around four months of inventory. That means that houses are taking longer to sell. So in December, the average days on market for a home were 80 days. That's pretty high. That means you can expect on average to spend about two and a half months or so with your home on the market. And it could be a lot higher or lower depending on how aggressively you price your home. Now, as we go into the spring, you can expect that days on market should go down a bit, but there is still a lot of inventory out there. We have tons of new construction. We have a ton of sellers who I also predict will put their houses on the market if the rates go down just a little. I'm calling these people my reluctant landlords. It's something that I have not seen in my career until again, the, all the craziness happened with our prices going up and down but we had a lot of sellers that wanted to sell at the end of 2022 and they just missed the timing they completely they missed when the prices were really high they came down really low and so they realized they're not going to get the price they wanted so they just decided we'll just rent our house out for a while but now after being landlords for a year or two they're realizing that they did not want to be landlords it's a lot of work and stress so a lot of those clients are coming back to us and saying, hey, we're ready to sell, you know, just tell us where the price is and we want to let go of our home this year so we can move on and buy somewhere else. So there will be a surge of resale homes plus a lot of new construction on the market. 
And I think that will also keep our prices from going through the roof as they did back in 2021 when we barely had anything on the market. So I think this will be a really strong, healthy year for Austin. You have to be realistic if you are selling to know that we are not at those 2022 prices. Even though 2023 was definitely strong and we saw some appreciation, we're still down about 8.9% overall from where we were at the height of the market in 2022. So all of these things you just need to factor in when you're making a decision to buy or sell. As always, real estate is very hyper-local, hyper-situational. So if you wanna discuss your personal goals for buying in 2024 or your potential to sell, please book an appointment with us. You can click the link in our caption to book a 15-minute consultation and we'll help you sort through all of your options.